I think it is very nice for you to want to increase your standard of living. It is very nice for you to want to level up. After all, that is why you are working. Do you get? But at the same time, it has to be at the right time. I feel like peer pressure is something that a lot of kids are taught by their parents in school and stuff. And then they eventually grow up, become an adult and they still start feeling so pressured. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the things that you need to think about before allowing peer pressure to make you increase your um, standard of living. Let's go straight into that. Alright, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Odewa Litae, and on this channel, I make content on self development, everything about growth. If this is something that you're interested in, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, keep watching this video to the end, and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Most of all, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, the first one is this number one. Most times, we don't know people's source of income. You might be thinking that that person that you're working in the same complex with, in the same hospital with, and the same office with, you might be thinking that, oh, this is the amount the person is earning, only the real sense, the person has another source, probably another business line, probably a man that is sponsoring her somewhere and she's not saying people don't most times disclose um their source of income fully and that is because it is just a topic not to be talked about and it is something that is very very sensitive so a lot of people like to keep it to themselves you understand a lot of people might have uncles aunties family members that they call for money and you might not have those kind of family members do you understand a lot of people might have friends that they can just put a call to like hey video me i'm broke please can you help me and the person might just come through big time for the person but you might not have that kind of person and that is not a bad thing it just means that you have to be very very careful because if you start to get pushed by peer pressure now you hire an adult you can go online or anywhere to borrow money and start paying you back and you'll be in debt the next one i think this one i will need to start it with an example i bought a bag three months back and i paid it instrumentally and you know after paying everything i just looked at the bag and i thought to myself was it worth it was it worth it do you know the funny thing is that that bag i've only carried it once because every time i look at it i'm always like this bag is very expensive and it's not because it's expensive that i can't carry it but every time i look at it i see my struggle i see the wala that the bag gave me do you understand because for those three months that i was in debt trying to pay for that bag i was not comfortable with life i became so broke do you get so every time i look at it i'm like okay this is what i suffered for i suffered for this bag was it worth it if you start to feel pressured and you start to borrow money to do some stuff it might not bring you the happiness that you're actually craving for at the end of the day do you get the next one people are messed up they are struggling you might be thinking that oh this person is doing up to this is doing up to that and you're feeling left behind in life when you do this the person you are competing with that is putting on such a good look is struggling you don't know what people are doing for money people do a lot of crazy stuff to be able to level up do you understand so you have to be careful there are a lot of people that are in relationships with sugar daddies sugar mommies just because they want to be able to meet up to the standard that they set up for themselves or other people have set up do you understand there are a lot of people that borrow money and are in serious debt because they are trying so hard to look very good to be able to level up and everything and you're there thinking like do you understand people are struggling and will do crazy stuff to get money the next one your goals are more important all right all right if you're trying to meet up to standard and you're falling for all this peer pressure definitely if you're trying to meet up with people you need money are you ready to trade your money for your future do you understand you know i was thinking about something yesterday it was about something that i heard in a podcast and the person was trying to say that we all have money it's just that we have traded it for something that is very little do you understand are you ready to spend all your money on things that are not valuable do you understand or for what you have to be focused you need to be focused the last one this should be a slogan being broke is not easy okay before you start to get pressured and start to do things you're not supposed to do i need you to know that being poor is not easy so before you spend your money to please other people to make yourself look as if you have what you don't have know that being hungry is terrible you have to learn to just let go just think of it like this you have the money 
but you're not ready to exchange it with quick happiness do you understand with comfortability yet you are still going to get there but your goals are more important right i think by this we have come to the end of the video i hope you learned a thing or two thank you so much for watching me today you're absolutely amazing if you are yet subscribed to my channel and you'd love to do that please kindly subscribe now give this video a thumbs up come back for more watch more of my videos share this video make sure you give it a thumbs up please most of all subscribe okay that's it thank you bye